Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. A lot has happened and today let's go and see the Team EOS build for Jelly Bean. The one in particular that we're going to install is the 4G version. So all I have to do is head over to the XDA developers forum as usual. Go into the Zoom thread and within the Zoom thread you want to be in the developer thread. The Zoom Android development thread. And once you're there, you can see there are quite a few different ones. By Team EOS, you can see there's one for the 4G. You can see there's one for the Wi-Fi, as well as other different um, builds out there. So just make sure this is your particular Zoom. It does matter. And um, especially if you're not used to doing something at this technical level, it's better if you just follow exactly what your hardware is so you don't have to dig yourself out of a hole. Just a recommendation. Now, um, we're going to go jump over to um, the Team EOS 4G build, and then they have two things for us. One is we have to download the Google Apps because it's not incorporated within the ROM. And then, of course, we want to download the Jelly Bean ROM itself. Okay? So to download the Google Apps, we just click on that link. I already did it to save us time up here, the Team EOS nightly builds. I apologize for that. And then you can see here, here's the list of nightlies. We want the most re recent, 111. Um, it has the most downloads, it's most popular, and it is the uh, very stable. And let us uh, download this through the browser. If you're wondering what this is, this is Jelly Bean um, t uh, improvement. I'm running it right now. That's why the user interface might look a little bit different. But we'll look at that later. So now it's going to download. But I already have it downloaded to save us time. So what we're going to do now is going to pretend that we successfully downloaded Google Apps. We successfully downloaded the Team EOS build that we want. And we're going to go over into our file manager. I'm using Astro here, but you can use any file manager that you want. You basically want to go to where your downloaded files on your Zoom were. As you can see here, we have our um, Team EOS build right here that we want to copy. And then um, we want to go back. The easiest way for most of us is to go back to our internal memory. And we want to go up one. In this directory, we can see our internal memory and our SD card. Depending on the operating system or the ROM we're using, it's going to be labeled a little differently. You need an SD card to do this, by the way, and root. Um, so in order to do that, you need to identify which one's your SD card. Sometimes it says external, sometimes it says SD card one. Um, one. One easy way to know is to put a file that's unique on that SD card. So when you open up, you'll know immediately that, oh, this is my SD card because of that files in it. And we just want to paste. And then once it's pasted and stored, I already did it to save us time, we um, are all set. We have our Google Apps loaded, and we have our Zoom Team EOS loaded onto our SD card. Likewise, if you wanted to download everything on a, your PC or your Mac or your Linux, load it onto an SD card and then stick it in your Zoom, you can do that too. Either way works. This way, you just use your Zoom. After that, now we just need to reboot it into recovery. So. There are a couple ways to do that. Um, if you're using a ROM, we can do it the this way, um, if it provides that. But if not, we can just uh, do a, a regular old reboot, and I'll show you the manual method. We're basically going to count to three once the Motorola Dual Core symbol appears. Three. And then you'll see... Android recovery, and w w when you count to three, you press volume down. This is what I did. Now, you want to press uh, volume up, I believe. I haven't done this in a while, but let's see what happens. Yep, you press volume up, and it will go into recovery. That's simple. So you can turn off your zoom, turn it back up, three seconds for dual core, volume down. So now, we're going to go using our arrows. Um, our volume as arrows, we're going to go all the way down and we're going to wipe 
factory reset. To select, we actually have to press the power button. And yes, we want to clear everything. Now, once you have this nightly installed, and say there's a newer release with better improvements, you don't have to wipe every time. So, there, are, of course, to prepare for something like this, you want to make sure everything that you have is backed up. And then, after, and after that, once you install the ROM, you can install it again. But once you're on this nightly, you can just keep on installing over the ROM. You don't have to do this wipe that we're doing right now. But please do the wipe if you're coming from ICS nightly or you're just coming from a different ROM altogether. Now we want to go to install zip from SD card and go to the two zips that we have that we moved on our SD card. We're going to choose a zip from the SD card and you can see the our files are right there. First we're going to install 111 Team EOS build. And this will take a little while, so let's take a break. Okay, and we are finished installing Team EOS. So now let's go back to choose a zip from SD card because we need to install those Google apps. And you can see here, I have a couple Google apps here. I have one that says ICS and then a bunch of numbers, and we have the JB. So, you know, make sure you know, this is a way to confirm at least that you're installing the Google apps for the correct operating system. And they will have the acronym. JB for Jelly Bean. So here we go. We'll do the JB package. And yes, we want to install it. And this again will take a couple seconds. Okay, and now that we are done, we just want to go back. And we want to reboot. So one thing to note when rebooting and installing a ROM for the first time, it kind of takes a little, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes, maybe five minutes. Don't worry. It's just a one-time deal. It takes a little while to initialize everything um, since you're reformatted and um, the operating system will um, turn on and everything will resume. So what basically is I'm going to switch out of here and um, I will already have my account installed and logged on to the wireless so we can just see Jelly Bean from the get-go. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have everything signed in, I'm on my wireless. We're just going to sync up and start our Jelly Bean experience. Everything, for the most part, is just very polished in Jelly Bean. Transitions, animations, um, the interface, it's, it's just cleaned up and much improved. It's, it's very surprising how smooth and how much better of an improvement over Ice Cream Sandwich, all of these transitions and animations are. I was kind of expecting, like with most operating systems, you get a newer one and it requires more CPU, requires more RAM, and things tend to go down as far as older technology. But the Zoom holds well and it actually improves on, on Jelly Bean, so it's, it's very welcome. Now, um, we're not done setting up actually because we need to set up Google new now and voice search that they've implemented in Jelly Bean. So we want to go into the settings and go into language and input. And then in language and input, we want to go to voice search. So one of the things Google's done is allows you to do offline speech recognition, which is really, really cool. So without this, you wouldn't be able to have your voice recognized. So you don't always need to be connected to the internet to use voice search. Cool. So I downloaded the English package. There are several packages out there. Just choose the one that's for you. And once it's done installing, it will let you know. And then you'll see it's right there in the installed box. And there, you know, you have a couple options here. We can have it personalized to yourself. It's up to you. And now we're back at home. And now you're set up. So one of the things that Google has brought to the table in Jelly Bean is they've really dramatically improved their voice search. They have Google Now, which I will go into into a later, later video, but you can also just check anywhere on the web. They're talking about it. There's tons of videos on this, and so check them out. It's really cool. But to open up the Google search, um, you can press the, the little guy up there, but you can also open up Google Now, which is if you hold down the home button, you can see that it kind of pops up there. There's that Google and you just kind of highlight it, it's sort of like the honeycomb little circle. But you can also just 
you know, just swipe up on the home like that, and it'll automatically open it up. So that's cool. It's a kind of a nice seamless way to open up Google search. And then of course, you can just um, start by talking. Google, what time is it? The time is 5.42 p.m. It's really a lot of fun to play with. It, it can do a lot of voice commands. It can do voice search. It, it, it's fun, you know. Here's another instance of uh, what it can do. Google, set an alarm for two hours. Setting alarm. And then you can see it was 5.45, 7.45 it's setting the alarm for. Done. You know, so cool things. You know, voice activated search. And, you know, doing some quick commands. You know, it, it, it's cool. And the browser itself has uh, really improved as far as, you know, loading. It's also improved dramatically when entering input into forms. You know, there always was that, that lag in when entering into um, forms. You know, Team EOS has done a great job in the ICS build and the Honeycomb build to really polish the experience. But you can really see that Jelly Bean has taken this input lag in the browser and really just kind of made it go away. It was very, very, you know, it, it could, it, it, it was bothersome. And you know, pages render and load beautifully, everything's smooth and transitions, but you can see when you click in the search, and as long as you type fast or type correctly, you can see that there's no input lag at all. It's just typing as fast as I am, which is really impressive. There are many other features. Just going over a few. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Team EOS has incorporated their, of course, their interface. You can find that interface within the settings, a couple of the, you know, the musts I, I believe is this toggling. Um, and um, for, for example, if you go open this, the, the panel of the notification panel, you can see now there's these toggles. You can disable sound. You can make a, turn on, you know, your zoom and use it as a flashlight, enable Bluetooth, disable wireless. It's all right there. It's just a tap away. And it's, uh, it really makes a nice use of the, the notification system in um, the tablet. So, many more things. This is kind of an overview, how to install. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, good to be back. More videos are to come. More interesting things that I want to do about customizing and take things to the next level. More on that to come later. Have a great day, everyone.